The application on the Android Smart Box is a little different. Designed a little bit better and generally speaking doesn't buffer as much. So if we choose BBC One it loads the content, tells you it's buffering and the dependence on your internet connection can take 10 to 20 seconds to get around to serving your video content. Once the video has started um, you have the choice with this app to decide whether or not you want low bandwidth or high bandwidth and it's more of an experiment for you really to find out which works better um, at the moment that is low bandwidth chosen um, this internet connection can certainly sustain um, a much higher bandwidth than it's on at the moment and if you choose bandwidth you just click on the high and it will start buffering again whilst more data comes down the pipe and then essentially once the buffer is filled your TV stream starts again and the quality is discernibly higher than probably you were used to. If your internet connection is above probably three you've got a good chance of sustaining a high uh, definition stream on film on. Again the rest of it is all fairly straightforward you have lots of different choices of channels um, and lots of different genres and ha this has been the staple I think for many expats since Astro One N was turned off. Uh, the caveat sadly is that as many of you are finding between 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock on weeknights the stream slows down considerably because everybody's logging on to watch Coronation Street and EastEnders. Um, our box does not necessarily have to use film on streams. We do have other solutions for you and although I can't show them here I can testify to the fact that they're pretty awesome and they don't buffer at all. Okay that's our look at film on on the Android Solutions VPN box.